In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Fabric and Fabric mods to Minecraft 1.21.4 or any other version. Before we get started, it's important to note that you will need to have Java installed to your Mac. So if you don't have it already, I will leave that tutorial linked in the description below. The first thing you need to do is to open our Minecraft launcher, and then you want to select the version of Minecraft you want to install Fabric for. So for this example, I'm going to use 1.21.4. Once we've done this, you want to click on play. Once Minecraft is open, you want to click on quit game. This means the files are being installed, so now we can go ahead and download Fabric. To download Fabric, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave the link in the description of this video. From here, you want to click on download, and then you want to click on download installer, and you want to choose where to save it. So for this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API, so our mods can run correctly. So to do this, you want to click on a Fabric API underneath the download button, and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here, you want to click on Files tab. And if you scroll down, you see lots of different versions of the Fabric API. You just want to select the one for your Minecraft version. So in this example, it is going to be 1.21.4. So I'm going to select this. And then you want to click on the Download button. After a few seconds, the download should start. So I'm going to click on Allow. And then again, I'm going to save the Fabric API to my desktop. Now we have the Fabric API and the Fabric installer downloaded, we just need to install Fabric. So to do this, you want to open the Fabric installer. And if you get this message, you want to click on Done. And instead, you want to right click on the Fabric installer, hover over Open With, and you want to select Java Launcher. If you're still getting this error message, you need to approve it through the system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left, and you want to click on System Settings. Once you're inside the system settings, you want to scroll down, until you find privacy and security in the left hand side menu. Now you want to scroll down of this and you should see the fabric installer listed here and you want to click on open anyway. Now you want to click on open anyway and you may need to enter in your Mac password or use Touch ID. You may receive another pop up that looks like this so you want to click on allow. Once the fabric installer opens up it will look like this. So we want to make sure we're on the client tab at the very top and for the Minecraft version, you want to select the one that you want to install Fabric for. So for this example, it's 1.21.4. For the loader version, you just want to select the latest version. And you want to make sure Create Profile has been selected. And once we are ready, you want to click on Install. After a few seconds, this will install Fabric to Minecraft. And you'll also get this pop-up message asking you that you will need to install Fabric API, which we have already done, so we're going to click on OK. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the Fabric installer. And now Fabric has successfully been installed to Minecraft. Now we just need to install our Fabric API so our mods can run correctly. To do this you want to open your Minecraft launcher. And then you want to click on installations at the very top. And you should see the Fabric loader version. All we need to do is click on the file icon to open the installation folder. And it should appear. Now you want to locate the mods folder. However if you don't have one you may need to create a new one. So to do this you want to click on the circle icon. And you want to click on new folder and you want to call it mods. Now you want to click into the mods folder and we simply need to drag and drop this fabric API file into the mods folder. Now we've done this we can exit out of the installation files and fabric has now successfully been installed to Minecraft. So if you want to load the fabric version of Minecraft you want to click on your Minecraft version and you want to select the fabric loader and then you simply want to click on play. You may get this pop up so you want to click on I understand the risks and click on play. If you've installed Fabric correctly, it should say in the bottom left the Minecraft version forward slash Fabric with modded in brackets. If you want to download Fabric mods, you first need to open your web browser or you want to go to a modding website of your choice. For this example, we are going to be using modroof.com. Once we're here, we're going to click on Discover Mods and I'm going to select the Sodium mod. Once we're inside the page, you want to click on the Versions tab and now we need to find the correct version for our Minecraft. So for this example, it's going to be 1.21.4 and it's also going to be the fabric version. So once we're ready, we're going to click into it and then we're going to click on download. And now we're going to save the mod to our computer. And for this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded our mods, we just need to install them. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher. And again, you want to click on installations tab and then you want to open the file location for the fabric loader. Once we've done this, you want to click inside the mods folder and just like the Fabric API, you want to drag and drop the mods inside of the mods folder. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the file location. And to play Minecraft with our mods, you want to click on the play tab. 
and you want to make sure you are loading the Fabric Loader version, and then you want to click on play. Again, if you've installed your mods correctly, it should say your Minecraft version full slash fabric and modded. So we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with our mods, just as we normally would. And that's it, so if this video is helpful please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.